Hey Tech here, so welcome to the VRTech channel and welcome back to the True Lenses series, the series where we stick a camera in front of the lenses of our VR headsets to see which one is the best, which one is the right for you. Oh, still got it. Last time was a year ago. <laughs> I know that this one was completely expected, but here we are comparing the Oculus Quest 2 with an LCD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1832, RGB pixel arrangement running up to 120 Hz with Fresnel lenses, and of course the new arrival and new competitor, the Pico 4, with two LCD display with a resolution of 2160 by 2160 each eye, RGB pixel arrangement running up to 90 Hz and with the new pancake lenses. No rings there. Making this video was absolutely fantastic and it's always very challenging, but I really wanted to see what the new pancake lenses could do. And I gotta tell you, they're nice. Let's remember that this is not a science. These screens, these lenses are made for your eyes and not for the lenses of the camera. So take your own conclusions, see what you wanna see, but we're gonna talk about it together at the end of the video, with also a cool surprise that the Pico 4 actually hold about PC VR games. Oculus games. So well, let's get into it.
And here you have it, these were the two big competitors, the Pico 4 and the Oculus Quest 2. Now, I'm really interested to hear what you think about it, so please let me know in the comment below, but I really wanna talk about something because this time we really have to look for something particular in these images. So first of all, you can notice that the resolution is pretty good in both devices. Yes, the Pico 4 has the little edge over, at the end the resolution is higher, of course, and using PC VR, at the end we are in the same situation because we are streaming from our PC. They both use or USB 3.0 for the connection with the PC or Wi-Fi. So if you had the question, is it gonna work? Yes, it works in both situations. Unfortunately, the USB 3 connection with the Pico 4 is a bit finicky. They're still working on the software there. Uh, so I use virtual desktop for both. So uh, we have the same results over there. And so yeah, again, for sure the Pico 4 gets a little edge over for resolution. At the end of the day, panel is higher resolution than the Quest 2, but that's not where the big jump comes from. Let me explain. At the beginning, I started to talk about lenses as well, because the Quest 2 has Fresnel lenses. It's an older technology. It, we have all the rings around and the particular thing over there that more lights come through, that we have a better light range in the Quest 2 compared to the Pico 4, where it's very easy to like burn the image and lose details in the very bright areas. Instead, the Quest 2 feels a bit more uniform. And that's a good thing, of course. But on the other side, the particular thing here is that in the Quest 2, when you look at the edges of the screen, you lose the resolution and the clarity very, very fast. Instead, with the Pico 4, it's totally another thing. And that's a cool thing about the pancake lenses. Well, the clarity is pretty much in the entire field of view. So yeah, when you put it on, you just feel crystal clear, where instead the Quest 2 feels like a past generation of VR in a way. So as we said, they both have the good and the bad. On the Quest 2, we have better colors and better brightness. And on the Pico 4, we have better resolution and also better clarity. About the brightness and the color though, I really noticed that because I can switch from one to the other each second. But if you just have one, you don't really notice that much because at the end of the day, when you are in VR, you see just the screen and nothing external. So the brightness is what it is. I mean, in my case, it bothers me because I keep switching between headsets, but you get the point. Also, for some weird reason, it was actually harder to run the Quest 2 at that resolution than the Pico 4. Uh, you can see also from Assetto Corsa, for example, the image is a bit more choppy uh, than the Pico 4. So something might be interesting to know. Oh, and about the cool thing about the Pico 4, the hidden thing for PC VR, is that you can actually play Oculus games directly there using virtual desktop. So you just go in the game section and then you select one from Oculus and it's gonna start without any problem whatsoever. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have your Oculus controllers in your hands. Uh, th that's actually pretty funny. You can play them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what was this? And so yeah, you can play Oculus games without any problem, without a revive, nothing. Just a virtual desktop you're fine. So what I'm using right now to play PC VR games, if I use a standalone headset, well, the Pico 4. Would I use it instead of a Valve Index or an HP Reverb G2? Well, that's something that we're gonna answer in the next video because I really wanna see, again, how they compare. The HP Reverb G2 will be very hard to beat. But yeah, I'm sure that about clarity on the edges, uh, we all have a winner there. Anyway, guys, it was great to be back with the True Lenses video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These videos take really long time to make. I had to scrap so many shots they took because I really trying to get the perfect shot every time. So I hope you appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you want to see the Pico 4 by yourself, the links are in the description below. And uh, there's also my First review over here in the description below as well. So check it out. But as always guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the videos, dislike. Do it twice, so I really understand that. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. If you really love the channel, there's a join button there. A little bit further, also the Patreon that supports a lot of these kinds of videos as well. And I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Subscribe for the next one.